Are you new to homesteading? Are you thinking about how to be more self-reliant? Interested in how to raise animals? How to grow your own food? Or how to preserve food? Do you like the outdoors? Do you like pets? Do you like animals? Then welcome to Ranger Rob Country Living. Join Sherry and Rob as we learn new things, new equipment, and new techniques. Sometimes we have great fails and great success. But most of all, we're trying. So hit that subscribe button and let's get started. Hello everyone, this is Ranger Rob. How are you today? Glad you made it. And uh, thanks for watching our video. And today's subject is uh, why do hydroponics? And uh, <laughs> the first answer would be why not? Uh, a couple of things have intrigued me. Now, the reason we have this channel is, first of all, we're kind of designed for beginners, for people who are just starting out, and we're just showing that <clears throat> we can start from scratch, make mistakes, and be successful, and learn and have fun. And so, uh, one of the things we learned in Central Oregon is our, our uh, soil isn't the best, and as we started doing research into the typical ways that we used to do gardening, the cost for bringing a, a, a soil in to uh, make our uh, soil better, uh, it's just expensive in building boxes and etc. When we found out that we can use a lot of conventional things that are around that some people just can, can, would consider scrap and, uh, uh, and make and be very successful with gardening. And the other part is, uh, you know, we do a lot of, uh, we are very much promoters of prepping. Not for, I mean, for all purposes, really. Um, but I want to learn how to do growing uh, in the simplest ways and also without power if I needed to. And uh, so learning some new techniques, I know the old techniques, but uh, doing things with uh, hydroponics is fascinating. And so uh, as we're going on this journey, we thought we'd share it with you. All right, so we got a beautiful sunny day and it is warming up. But once again, we have wind. Arr! So uh, please be forgiving of the wind uh, sound on this camera. Uh, we use a little GoPro. We have other cameras too, but for quick uh, grab and go, this has turned out to be the best camera for that. And uh, anyway, so thought I'd check in the towers. Everything's looking pretty good. Uh, this weekend, I can't wait to get this completely planted, but our new plants here are doing pretty good. And uh, the ones we just added aren't really showing any signs of, of life here. That's okay. So, uh, anyway, I thought I'd go with a walk with you. So, why do we prep and why do we do the hydroponics? Well, the hydroponics are fascinating. That's all I can say. And uh, we are doing conventional gardening too. And uh, a little bit early, we're still having very cold mornings. And I can't even fire up the greenhouse unless I decide to heat it. And uh, I might get to that point. And you know, we talk about our chickens and we talk about freeze drying. I don't know if you know this, but every week we freeze dry about 60 eggs into powder to add to our prepping supplies. And to me, that is just fascinating, along with other things that we also freeze dry. So the Dutch bucket system, why are we doing it? One is, uh, I like the idea that for earlier last year, you saw that I put a backup system on our well, which means I can run water even if the uh, uh, water isn't available. In Dutch buckets, you can do a return system like we're doing here and, and sending it back to a tank. But if you didn't have that capability of no power, um, you can do it by hand and uh, your plants will thrive. The only thing you have to have is the chemicals and uh, or the fertilizers. 
and that's pretty easy uh, to stock up on. So, um, if I'm going to grow food, I want to be, first of all, successful. Two, not deal with as many uh, insects and, and things that could uh, attack my plants. And so, that's always been a frustration, even when I was in Arizona. So, we're looking forward to seeing how well our plants do and how healthy they stay having the new greenhouse and the new Dutch bucket system. So, uh, once again, I want to be able to produce a lot of food. And it's one thing to produce a lot of food, but to produ produce a lot of food and be able to store it or preserve it was important. So, that's why we brought the freeze dryer in. We have a dehydrator and we know how to can. But our interest is mostly in dried food. Just add water and be ready to go. <coughs> um, at our age, unless some disaster was to happen locally, which isn't likely, uh, we're not considering to be a bug out kind of people. We're pretty much stay in place and defend what we got. And so, uh, uh, yeah, making videos about prepping is probably not the smartest thing to do, but, <laughs> but I also have a Christian faith of sharing the wealth, sharing with the community, sharing knowledge, and also showing that new people, new ideas um, are uh, feasible <clears throat> even in this day and age. And no matter what age you are, uh, you can get involved in this. If I was 20 years younger, I'd actually be doing a lot more things. Uh, but I have to consider, can I maintain this at age t five years from now or 10 years from now, etc. Um, and if I was to let this property go to my kids or something, um, is it a, something they could sustain? So yeah, anyway, so that's kind of a purpose of being prepared, being self-reliant, trying new ideas and different growing techniques um, to uh, one is keep you stimulated two is uh, uh, trying new ideas is fun uh, and having a chance to learn new like I haven't done a lot of plumbing but and I could do a lot better at it but there was a lot of plumbing here uh, dealing with these buckets and grommets and mechanical things that I haven't done before it was good for me and uh, now I'm just looking um, for the uh, reaping the benefits of all this so uh, I'm hoping that our channel uh, motivates people to try this stuff and uh, become part of our community part of our family love the comments we get we really appreciate it and please take the time to comment but uh uh, yeah, I'm just trying to urge people to put at least a month's supply of food and water uh, aside, no matter where you live. We're showing you techniques you can do in an apartment balcony. Um, so uh, everybody should have something because um, it could be quite a shocker. There's a lot of unique things going on right now between um, China and Russia and Israel and those places there that... Uh, uh, you should be, and if you don't know about any of that, I highly recommend you watch a video called, um, a channel called Marfugal News. It's really that called that Marfugal. Um, they're great at kind of keeping you abreast on worldwide events uh, by following articles, not hearsay, articles about things that are going on. Um, and, uh, I just recommend that uh, you find a channel like that or Paul Begley folks like that that will kind of tell you what's going on beyond our borders because our media seems to be just totally fixed on uh, sensational news uh, to get ratings and we're not hearing about what's going on around us and we have some very serious things going on and incomprehensible i been fortunate throughout my life to be in pretty calm situ you know scenarios I've been through a couple recessions and stuff but not uh, what came involved in wars and things like that 
And so uh, I would be just as perplexed as you would if something happened on our shores. And so you should never not be prepared, whether it's a weather disaster or some weird thing happens where we just you have to be inconvenienced for a few weeks. Um, having food and water and uh, a generator and things like that, uh, knowing how to grow food, uh, I really think is important. And I don't know how to relay that to other people other than show you that it can be done even from scratch. If you go to our videos a year ago, you will see we had nothing like this. We had some stuff in Arizona um, and uh, some of the things we learned in Arizona we're applying here. Um, our goal is to show you that you can do it and it doesn't matter what age you are. And uh, no, I just hope you find that helpful and I hope you uh, stay with our channel just for that. You know, it's kind of funny. I'm actually more worried about being successful in conventional uh, gardens than I am with the hydroponics. Um, in fact, in a way, sometimes I've been thinking about just doing a tower system in here. Uh, I don't know. Um, I'm really happy with the towers. And I like that they're off the ground and protected a little bit more from critters and, and rodents and uh, rabbits and stuff like that. I will have to deal with the birds with the strawberries. But I don't know. This, uh, this is a good spot. But I'm not sure if the soil is as good as I wanted it to be. Uh, I just didn't have the time or, uh, to amend this as well as I wanted to. I did bring five yards of uh, compost in into this. But I'm not sure if that's enough. So it will be kind of interesting to see how well we do on conventional. So uh, anyway, I know it's a little bit different video than I've been showing. Um, we do have a new lighting system coming in today. Uh, we have strawberries coming in. And so we'll really be going like gangbusters once again. Our next videos will be more how-tos. Um, but today I just thought I'd spend the time with you and, and uh, tell you what we're thinking and how we're thinking. And kind of trying to uh, tell you what our goals are in this channel. And I'd love to hear from you. Please leave comments and say hello. Uh, tell us the things that you're doing. Tell us the things that you'd like us to do. Um, or explain more. And uh, whether it's how we get started in this, how we ended up like this, uh, our dogs, uh, hydroponics, conventional growing, uh, living in Central Oregon, what do you want to hear about? We'll be happy to talk to you about it. Um, Give us some focus. So, with that in mind, I'm going to leave the video as a talk. And uh, the next one's coming up will be more of a how-to. And I want to thank you so much. Oh, we got lots of new subscribers. Um, I want to thank everybody who's been watching and leaving comments. Uh, we love you guys. And you've uh, all been very polite. And we will always be polite to you. So anyway, guys, please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. We'd appreciate it. Uh, please be safe. Please leave comments. Until next time, talk to you later. Bye. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available at Amazon right now.